The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WBGR Network. Good afternoon. I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. We want to welcome you to Straight Talk About the Blended Family. We appreciate you tuning in to us today, and we pray that we will give you a fresh perspective on how to allow your blended family to mesh and to blend well. Well, welcome to another outstanding show. Straight talk about the blended, blended family. family yes. We are really excited about today. We got a special, special guest for you. We're not going to give you the details just yet, but I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. Mangums. You know how we do it here. Before we go forward, we got to lift this thing up in prayer because we know God is in full control. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this another day, for another op opportunity, God, just to have an amazing yes, straight talk Lord. about the blended family. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for this platform. We thank you for WBGR and all of its affiliates, Lord. We ask you to move today as we come to you real. And we pray today that what we give and what our guests give will allow our audience to move to the next level. Mm -hmm. In the precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we want to do at this time, we want to do our thank yous. We want to thank the Lord for, for just allowing us to have this opportunity. We want to thank Lionel Green and the WBGR staff here at the station for their support. We want to thank all those who are praying for us in our show, who are supporting us in our show, um, who are sharing the show. Yes. You know, they're, they're, they're having watch parties and and looking at the show and, and having watch parties and inviting their guests and their families on there because they know that they want to they want this information to get out so that people's family people's blended family can be blessed okay um yes. if you have any questions during this segment feel free to call us at 301-429-9247 yes. if that line is busy you can call us at 301-306-7284 um, we have our daughter on the show today, Tiffany Mangum, <laughs> of, of uh, CEO, founder, CEO. Uh -oh, there she goes. <laughs> Watch out for all the titles. She on the road today. Entrepreneur. Michelle is on the road. True Peace Yoga. True Peace. Did I say it right? True, True Peace, peace wellness. wellness. We True got help her out today. Wellness. She's so excited. That is T R U. P E A C E. Well, not true as T R U E. True T R U P E A C E. Wellness. Yeah, all we, right. We, true we are just wellness. really, really excited. We're excited. <laughs> she's on. No, let me tell you something. She is so stoked today. She's so pumped up. No, but this is really going to be a dope show. The um, title of today's show yeah, is Lord, that's right. Blended Family Self Care. Ah, uh, you can't, you don't want to miss this. Listen, like we always say, I want to say this to you. If you're at lunch today, the weather is it's pretty nice. You got a breeze. So listen, <laughs> take your lunch, get your smartphone, get your iPad, get your lunch, or maybe get you some popcorn, your favorite drink. And listen, take in this hour because we really believe that the information that she's going to share with you will definitely allow you to take yourself a lot more serious <laughs> and to see how valuable you are through the principles of self-care. Mm-hmm. What else you got? Here? So, at this time, we are going to cut to a commercial break. And after the commercial break, in about two minutes, we will be back here. And she's going to be on the hot and seat. Tiffany will be right ah, here in the it's hot on fire. seat. Okay. I need the extinguisher <laughs> to put but, it out. But seriously, you are going to be blessed. And the information that's going to be given to you is going to bless you, it's going to bless your family. So, we are just excited. And we look forward to to Tiffany just giving it to you, okay? You know this straight talk about the blended family, so you know we keep it real on this show. Keeping it 100. All right, but it's all to bless you and your family, all right? So we will see you after this short commercial break. One of the problems is that the relationship with the new children and the new mom or dad, they really don't mess well. The kids really don't care about the new parents. They don't care about the new rules. You know, they really want to be with their biological parents. Hey, everybody, Michelle Mangum coming to you with a commercial break. Just want to let you know about our books. Um, this book right here is called Blending to Make It, Ingredients for a Successful Blended Family. Now, this book 
is the book that has three principles in it, practical, therapeutic, and spiritual. Let me tell you something. If you want your blended family to mesh well together, to blend well together, then this is the book for you. Now, everybody that has read this book, they've comment, made comments on it, and the people that who's, who follow the principles in the book, their families are doing great now. Let me tell you something. We're going to be coming out of a, with a book towards the end of the year that's going to be featuring all those blended family success stories, okay? So stay tuned for that. This book, From the Incubator to the Kingdom, is a book that if you had a troubled past and you have you know, you're, you're struggling with getting getting from that past or moving forward. This book right here is the book for you. This book will encourage you. It will uplift you and it will cause you to be free. This book right here, let me tell you something. If you had a troubled past, this is the book that you need for encouragement. At some point in time this summer, we have a collaborative book that's going to be coming out. Straight talk about the blended family keeping it 100. We drop it in this book, okay? We drop it raw in this book. So, um, this is a collaborative effort from me and my husband, Doc D, the blended family specialist. And you stay tuned for this book because this book right here is going to let anybody know what to expect in the blended family. So, if you're not in the blended family and you're planning to get in one, this book right here is going to let you know all the ins and outs about the blended family. It's going to be encouraging, though. So stay tuned for this book that's going to drop this summer. Now, listen, um, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to our, our WBGR Health and Wellness Show. Straight talk about the blended family. If you want to get in, if you want to get one of these books, you can get it on Barnes and Nobles. You can get it on Amazon. There's some other um, outlets that you can get it on. But there's so many that I, that I can't list all of them right now in this commercial break. But you can reach out to my husband at Dr. Blend one the number one, D-R-B-L-E-N-D-1, at gmail.com, or me, Simply Peachy, M-M, at gmail.com. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-P-E-A-C-H-Y-M-M at gmail.com. And we will be more than happy to meet up with you if you want to sign a book in, in person, okay? So, God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Share it with your friends. Listen, we're back. Welcome back. And we have our daughter in the Good studio. <laughs> Tiffany is in the studio today. Listen, um, the owner of True Peace Wellness. Today we're going to talk, she's going to talk about self-care regarding the blended family. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to spend a lot of time. My wife, um, she she wanted to do a bio, but she's going to tell you, Tiffany's going to tell you some of the things that she has done before we get into questioning, be, questioning her with the questions with the hot seat. Mm -hmm. But we, we just want you to understand that today I really truly believe that your life is going to be changed and that you're going to say, wow, how valuable I am through self-care <laughs> and that's without further ado tiffany so welcome to the show welcome team. to the show <laughs> <laughs> thank you both for having me so you gotta use your outside yeah, you voice too use, yeah you oh use, they don't you got to pick up yeah. it'll pick up oh, okay. but you got to talk project a little bit though. Oh. <laughs> i told you in the hot seat she is so listen she is mellow F-E-L-L-L-O. So just give everybody a brief summary about yourself. Yeah, tell Absolutely. us about yourself. So, welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tiffany Mangum. I'm founder of True Peace Wellness. Um, True Peace Wellness started about five years ago um, as just wanting to be able to, um, to create a space for individuals um, to learn yoga. And then further along, it became more of a meditation as I started my meditation practice and understanding the value of um, just kind of moving yourself from the outside world a bit to more um, inside and really looking into yourself and trying to figure out um, some of the areas in your life where you can find more balance. And so um, I started True Peace Wellness, um, I would say a couple years ago as far as like finding the name of it because I thought it was more encompassing than just yoga and even just meditation. It's about being mindful. It's about 
um, having healthy relationships, one starting with yourself as well as with others. And uh, I'm just on a mission and um, in any area, really, um, I'm mobile. I would say I'm very mobile. True Peace Wellness is very mobile and I'm here to promote um, healthy lifestyle and just to give you tips on how you can promote your lifestyle to be more healthy um, with simple steps, you know, nothing complex, nothing um, where you're not comparing yourself uh, with another person's self-care activities. You know, you have your own. You have to find something that fits. So True Peace Wellness is just an all-encompassing um, group. I call it I call it a wellness collective because it really isn't just me. It's whoever that I'm, I'm opening up to, who, who, whoever is coming to me and wanting a little bit more um, on how to find balance. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> we said that together. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so Tiff. Um, one of the things that I've realized and what you do is that I think you change the trajectory of where people are. Because a lot of times when you talk about self-care, mm-hmm. um, people don't realize how important it is to take care of themselves or to have an objective. Or in, uh, in other words, be deliberate. So the first question is, what inspired you to be a conduit of sharing the importance of self-care with people? Yeah, so it's one of those things, I think it's something that comes to you, you know, if you find something that you're excited about, you want to share it, right? So for me, it was like, I don't want to keep this to myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hold Mm -hmm. on to this, like, oh my gosh, I finally found something that worked for me, Mm -hmm. um, that brought me out of um, places that, or dark places, really, um, you know, where you might be sad or grieving or angry or upset, frustrated or just unbalanced. And once I was starting to figure out, like, oh, wait, it starts with you first before you can really care um, for anyone in any capacity um, without being deflated. You Mm -hmm. have to start with you. So as I started, like, with my group of friends and even within my yoga journey, it was more so like, yes, I want people to move their bodies. In yoga, I want them to gain flexibility but first, like, yes, their body's moving, but where's their mind? You know, while your body's moving, like, how do you bring it all to balance? So just as you're understanding how your limbs work, you have to understand how your brain works and how your emotion works and how your spirituality works and just all of those things. So once I've kind of figured out, like, this is working for me, I said, why don't I share it and then mm-hmm. just allow people to find how to cultivate it for themselves? Mm-hmm. Wow, that that's really... Uh... You said a lot, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and just that one question, but as I begin to just think about what you said, mm-hmm. one of the things that sticks out is that having the capacity to take care of yourself. Because a lot of times we go from this process of giving what we don't have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have an empty cup and you want water in that empty cup and well. you haven't poured any water in that empty cup, <laughs> well then you're not going to be able to pour into anybody else. And I know, theoretically, we go from the half cup, full, half full mentality. Mm -hmm. But most of the time with us as humans, we're never half full. Mm -hmm. We're probably just drained dry. (laughs) And because people pull on us so much, especially when you have a heart to to help, a heart to kind of help people get better and change where they are, a lot of times we don't even put a lot of care in understanding what it takes to maybe get that person back up and get that person moving in the direction of true health. Absolutely, and just to add to that, um, even for I, um, even I think for anyone who's working with people mm-hmm. um, in whatever capacity, you have you most importantly on the planet have to make sure that you are filling your cup because you're here to serve. If your purpose is here to serve, to be of service to someone or a group of people. It's imperative that you find a way to uh, fill your cup because you'll be the first to drain, right? You'll be the first one to go. And Mm -hmm. because your purpose is to serve, they don't know how to stop pulling on you. Come on now, right? That's good. That's good. That's good. And you set them up to pull on you because Mm -hmm. this is your purpose. So you have to make sure that you are being able to fulfill yourself so that you can keep your purpose going. Yes. Still feel good about it. So that speaks to balance. Sounds like it speaks to balance. Yes. And, and boundaries. Two bees. <laughs> yeah, that was coming in my brain. But I'll go ahead and ask, sugar. ask the next question, please. So we could go in a whole different direction with boundaries. <laughs> what are some of the components that help with accepting 
and sustaining self-care? Okay. Components. It's a two-part question. Yes. Okay, so what are some of the components, right? Um, let me figure this out, how to put this in a few words. Um, so I think the first thing is to understand what self-care is mm -hmm. and what self-care mm -hmm. is not. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with that. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So first, you know, it's like we see the trend, right? Hashtag self-care, hashtag self-love, self-care. I'm mm -hmm. getting my nails done. I'm getting my feet done. I'm hanging out with my boys. I'm mm -hmm. having a drink. I'm, um, I'm going to church. I'm like, I'm all this. Like, it's all of this. Like, mm -hmm. this is self-care. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's a chore for people. Right? So that self-care, those hashtags, self-care, and those different activities don't work for everyone. Some of those things actually bring on stress. Mm -hmm. Like to go out with people, mm -hmm. um, someone may um, be scared to be around people. So that mm -hmm. social activity might not be self-care for mm -hmm. them. So once you figure out like, oh, okay, self-care is not that for me. Right. What is self-care? What do I need? Or where can I find my outlet? Mm -hmm. That's when you start to discover like your self-care. So self-care isn't something that someone else has. Mm -hmm. And it's not a chore. It's not something that brings you down. Self-care is not something yeah. where you're like, I have to do this. Right. Um, because you want to be able to enjoy it. The whole point of self-care is for you to kind of dig into yourself a little bit and figure out what you need, what you might be lacking, and therefore finding the comfort and finding the balance for you to be able to be productive. Um, yeah, that's, so that's no, so I that's think that's good. the first that's thing good. is like figuring out what self care is yeah. and what self care is not for you. Those are two different lists. Mm -hmm. Once you get those lists together, you start to look at those lists and say, okay, um, going out for a hike. I love connecting with nature, mm -hmm. or you know, I love hanging with my girlfriends, mm -hmm. or um, I love being with family. And as we're talking about blended families, like I love picking up my bonus children. Mm -hmm. I love hanging out with them. Um, I love creating. Um, you know, get together as four families or whatever it is um, that you love to do, um, indulge in it. And don't think of self-care as being selfish. Yes. Don't think of it as being, um, yeah, really, it's, it's not selfish, you know, mm -hmm. or it is a self, it is selfish act so that you can continue to be selfless. Like, it's, yeah. it's one of those things mm -hmm. where, like, you're, be, you're being selfish because you're honoring mm -hmm. your time. Mm -hmm. You're, like, garnering, like, this is my day. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. So that your rest of your, the rest of your week or the rest of your month, you can actually give because mm -hmm. you've taken that time. Mm -hmm. You know, let me, let me say this. Let me add to this, Tiff. Um, one of the things while you were talking, I was thinking about people that are in high-profile positions. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're in the church, let's use the church, if you're a pastor for the church, or if you're in a company, you're the CEO. Or if you are a major manager, mm -hmm. um, because we have been accepted the servant leadership role, we sometimes don't know how to be selfish, mm -hmm. understanding that great point you made, made. I believe being selfish in the self-care perspective, it's a byproduct of becoming selfless. Mm -hmm. And so you strengthen those areas when you are selfish with the objective to become selfless. Absolutely. And then you, you're able to pour into people mm -hmm. and pour into yourself because I think it should be a dual proposition there. Yeah. Pour into people, but pour into yourself. If you pour more into people and don't pour into yourself, there's a minus. Yeah. And so you want to make sure, and I'm glad that you said this because I know a lot of people struggle with really taking the attitude of being selfish in that in that mode and a lot of times we end up so exhausted because we allow people to place labels on us yes you know i'm not saying this is my time this is my space yes and to add on when you when 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 you when you are giving and giving and giving, you have to get rejuvenated. You know, you pour out and pour out and serve and serve. You get depleted. So it's important for you to take some time for self-care so that you can get rejuvenated. Even if that means putting on some easy listening music, sitting in a recliner chair, reading a book, you know, that's going to inspire you or encourage you. Um, if that means bowling, skating, whatever it means for you, whatever, you know, getting, you know, replenishes you, that's what you need to take time to do because it's going to help rejuvenate you. So then when you when you're back at it, you know, and giving to people, you know, you'll you'll be you'll be strong. You'll be good. 
Great day. Mm -hmm. Let me say this last thing real quick before we go to the next question. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Having a schedule and sticking to your <laughs> schedule, I believe, is one of the components mm -hmm. of really oh, yeah, walking into self-care. Because a lot of time we have a calendar in our phone, we have a calendar on our desktop, we have a calendar on the wall. We don't stick to it, huh? And we don't stick to the calendar. And 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 when Tiffany said a lot of great things, but she said uh, stress. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna interject this because Tiff and I we talk about different things. One of the things that I, I we said, my wife and I said on a couple shows ago, how to guard your peace. And you have to really fight for your peace in the process. I believe, in my opinion. Yeah of obtaining self-care because if you have a schedule where you today i'm not doing xyz and i know your phone is going off your text <laughs> is going off your social media is going off you know hit those buttons that say silent you know because the way society is now and and, and i get it we are so attached mm -hmm. to social out outlets yeah. Well, we don't take time, or if we do, it's a struggle, you know. But I, I, I got to say this, and we're going to move forward. When I went on a 30-day fast from social media, because that was a self-care for me. And I know people, they thought something happened to me. They thought I fell off the end of the <laughs> earth. They thought whatever. And I said, if I don't do this, then I'm just spinning my wheels. And so I just want to encourage you. Yeah. I'm not the self care expert my daughter is our oh. daughter is but i am i am a component of self-care because being a high leadership profile being a profile person if you don't take care of yourself and you're trying to meet all of the desires of your audience if you have fans i mean i'm not luxury i don't have the luxury of having fans but i really believe that it starts with you understanding that and the last thing i'll say being a blended family advocate one of the problems I've seen, my wife and I have seen as we counsel and talk to blended families, is that there's no self-care with the parents, so there's no self-care with the children. Right. And sooner or later, what happens is that there is casualties right. because we haven't taken time out to build that arena of self-care. Okay, so what are some highlights of being an advocate for self-care? Yes, so, and before I answer that, I actually want to um, just talk about what you said about just the blended family and the mm -hmm. self-care um, how it gets lost. Um, being a part of, being in a blended family and understanding that, you know, there's a lot of going on, there's a lot going on, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, and I didn't get to speak on the components. Of course, I get so excited about talking about this. Um, but schedule, a timer, a calendar, and accountability partner. Like, those are your four components. Schedule, timer, a calendar, awesome. and, a, and, a, and an accountability partner. Those are, like, the four things that you need. Um, those are your resources for you to be able to get your self-care. And then as far as with blended family, how it gets lost, if you think of it as like before you entered into that relationship and that commitment of that unit, you probably had your own schedule. You knew what you were going to do. You, you were going, you were flowing every day with something. Absolutely. Then you got involved, you know, by your, cho by choice, loving choice, everyone's coming in and now you're trying to find where that schedule went, <laughs> you know, where it went, because now you're caring for, and it makes sense. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna do my own thing and then everybody else follow. But what you have to do, you sit down as a family and prioritize. Mm -hmm. What is it that we can do as a family for self-care? Bring to the table what you've already been doing for your self-care. I feel like even children and your spouse or partner will understand like, oh, okay, this is what you've been doing before here. How can we now cultivate and support each other? Absolutely. So it's not just, oh, well, you just gonna do your own thing. No, I wanna do my own thing. You need to do your own thing. We all need to have our own things going mm -hmm. on and then collectively so that we can mm -hmm. see that growing. Um, I look at it as like your appointment book. I think some people go into relationships and, fam and blended families and it's like you're giving your appointment book to somebody and they're filling out your whole schedule for you. And they feel like <laughs> self-care is a foreign concept because you have no control over your appointment book. Yeah. You need to take that appointment book back, turn it over to yourself, fill in what you need, then reverse that appointment book and have other people fill in. That way you have set your priority for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are trying to figure out their morning routine and daily routine and those types of things. 
and self care is at the bottom of the list. So when things are at the bottom of the list, they're easy to be skipped and left. Absolutely. Out. So you have Absolutely. to put it at the top, Absolutely. you know, and don't make it like a splurge of the moment. Self care doesn't have to be this three day spa treatment. It mm -hmm. can if that's what you can afford and that's what works for your time and your family. But it could be I'm gonna get up five minutes or ten minutes early, earlier than my alarm or, or whatever and I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna take a walk. Absolutely. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee while everyone in the home is sleeping and it's quiet. So start small. It could be very simple. It doesn't Absolutely. have to be complex. Absolutely. And then um so I want to stay right on track and you said what are some, what are some highlights of being an advocate for self-care? Oh, so the highlights of being an advocate, one I feel like people <laughs> ask me for things. <laughs> um, and I love to talk I love to talk about getting people better. I yes. love to I love to talk about how to find balance. Um, because I understand that it's different for everyone. It's so Absolutely. insightful. I learned so many things. Absolutely. I start taking other people's self-care thing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. But it's so important that it's not even just a thought. It's actually interest. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's not even just interest. It's like, okay, now I want action. Mm -hmm. And realize that mm -hmm. you can be handheld through this process of self-care. You yes. don't have to wake up and know how to do this. Mm -hmm. We haven't... In some of our family history and generations, we haven't been really taught how to self-care even in relationships. Mm -hmm. So you might be taught like mm -hmm. how, how to take care of yourself without anyone. Mm -hmm. But then how do you carry that into your workplace, into your jobs, Absolutely. into those different social components? Like how do you... How do you not lose yourself, but still have care and empathy for people? Absolutely. Um, so though my highlights is just like being able to shut things off, being able to be disciplined. You'll find discipline. You'll fall in love with yourself all over again. I did a 30-day fast as well from social media, and it really tipped me. Like, it tipped true peace, wellness. Like, everything that I had going on really just leveled up. It All elevated right. because of the discipline. Because it yes. takes discipline. And once you mm -hmm. once you give discipline to one area in your life, yes. and it will be easy to apply. Mm -hmm. And you won't you'll get out of those toxic relationships because you'll feel better. You know, you'll tell those kids Absolutely. what the deal is and, and mm -hmm. who they're gonna respect. Um, you know, you yes. just really stuff you too. have a new a new way of thinking like Oh boy, she's you know she's new. What's happening? Yeah. You know, and you do you feel rejuvenated? Yes, and that's that's the biggest yes. highlight because you can Amen. you can now take your new chapter of life in a different way. Yes, you that's might have awesome. been on a, in a yes. putt putt truck and now you're on a cruise ship. Yes. like you know being able and, to go. And the beautiful thing about it is, as long as you have breath. Your journey continues. Yes. Your journey can always change. Yes. So those of you who are stressed out, <laughs> you need a self-care day or, or hour yeah. or, you know, whatever time frame that you can get. Yeah. Believe me, you, I'm telling you right now, and I'm sure Tiffany can back me up on this. Any time that you can get for yourself, even if it's 15 minutes, yeah. it will help you. It will start to rejuvenate you. You just, sometimes you just need to say, okay, I need a woosa moment. Yeah. Right? Definitely. That's right. Definitely. That's right. And mm -hmm. you can set your timer. I've done this mm -hmm. before. I've set my timer um, throughout the day, maybe, you know, at 3.15 and then at 6.15 mm -hmm. p.m., right? Mm -hmm. At 3.15, I'm going to ask, I'm going to check in with myself. How mm -hmm. am I feeling? How's my body feeling? Have I eaten today? Mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. know, have I talked to someone? Is, is something on my mind? Set your timer, and that's why I said a timer or alarm or something on your phone. Yeah, jug that, Absolutely. you know, like um, or, or jar, jar those questions out of you of mm -hmm. like, where am I going? Because yes. some people go through the whole day and like, I feel slammed, I'm exhausted. Absolutely. And if they would have checked in half of the yes. day, they could have rerouted. They Absolutely. They could have taken the rest of the day off. You know, whatever. Absolutely. Could have found something to do. So now just on check the job, in. it's called a mental health day. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. <laughs> It's called a mental health day. That's what it's, it's called. It's okay. Now, I'm not telling you to abuse that privilege, but, but take it. it's okay <laughs> to have a mental health day from work every absolutely. now and then. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, this is, this is really powerful. Yeah. Um, just to think of how we can elevate mm -hmm. ourselves to become better. Because once we become better, here's a, this thing is not rocket science, as they say. <laughs> it's not. Once you become better... Everybody around you have the opportunity to become better. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, you can yes. change their perspective. You can change yes. the energy in a room. You yes. can change your household and when from a, feeling lethargic to energized. And when a mom <laughs> and when a mom sees you yeah. 
and see you juggling the kids, mm -hmm. you juggling the spouse, you juggling work, the business, and all that. That's right. And they see you and you looking all calm and, and vibrant cool and collected and vibrant <laughs> and, and energetic and all that. You know, they're like, hold up. Pumped up. Hold up now. Ready got, to go. I'm, I got all this going on. I got the same situation yeah. she got going yeah. on, but I'm stressed out and I beat down. You know, yeah. what can I do? You know what I mean? Self care. Yeah, it's self care. And then they gonna reach yeah, absolutely. And it's self care. And, and they're gonna reach out to you. Absolutely. And I have um I have a mom and baby group that I go to um like once a month and or once every other month. And it's really empowering because when you're a mom and dads too, we're gonna talk about dads and That's males awesome. owning self care too. It's something you have to own. You have to say, you know what? I'm owning this. I'm demanding this. So it's a support group. It is a it's a support group. Okay. Um, and the moms and they do. They say those things like, well, how are you doing this? Where are you? How? And I said, I demand my time. I figure out what hour I need. Mm -hmm. Now, don't demand your time when the kids are hungry. They like you have to be wise when you're needed. That's not the time where you take a self care moment. Or maybe you can't lock yourself in the bathroom. But, um, you know, like, <laughs> figure out what's going to work and then set up things accordingly. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. even for the men in the household and the boys in the household, self-care is not just for women and girls. Absolutely. It's not. Absolutely. You know, but it's taught and it's and it's softer and it's it sounds easier um, because the men are, you know, they want to be out there and support and protection and all that and they also need self-care absolutely you know we urge the self-care for men mm -hmm. to also take care of yourself mm -hmm. find something that you love to do absolutely. reconnect we always say reconnect with the 20 year old you the 21 year old yes. the 25 year old and maybe not all the things that was in 21 yes. and 25 but some of those things that gave you like a good feeling absolutely. you can yes. bring those things back absolutely to your current mm -hmm. you know situation in life absolutely that's, that's powerful mm -hmm. Um, the next question is, in your opinion, Tiff, how has the African-American community embraced the concept of self-care? You know what? I think we've got it. Right? Okay. I think that African-Americans have it. All right, now. But. <laughs> I have to but. put that three-letter word. Okay. But. All right. The but is, sometimes we think that resources, mm -hmm. meaning money, mm -hmm. is what we need to have self-care. Right. Yeah. Yes. Because on the outside we see like, oh, massages, nails done, hair done, um, new outfit, this, this, and this, and that. Yes. That might not be where you are. Mm -hmm. Right. That mm -hmm. don't let your financial resources dictate exactly. your lack of self care. Exactly. That's good. And that's honestly, good. that's what I feel. That's so, the only thing I feel that's the break in it is like, I don't have money to do that. I don't have money to do that. Oh, I want to do that, but so, I don't have money so to do that. So give some examples to somebody. Somebody is sitting there and they're watching yeah, and they're absolutely. saying, well, I don't have the money to. So give them some examples yeah. of things that they can do. Free. Woosa. There we go. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> That's the self-care right there. That cost you nothing. But just a second. But breathing as well as, you know, going outside. Embracing nature. Okay, it's too hot. It's raining. It's snowing. Let's not do that. Okay, maybe connect to something. YouTube. Maybe there's a movie. Maybe there is an exercise. Maybe there's fitness. Maybe it's um, a meditation. Maybe it's painting your own nails. Maybe it's taking a long bath, a long, yes. you know, self, or just time for yourself. Yes. You know, self care can look different. You can, I mean, you can write down positive notes. You can make a gratitude list. You can draw on so many different things. You can draw. You can do artwork. You can color. You, you can color. Um, you can light a candle. Yes. You can create and make something. You can bake something. Mm -hmm. You can make your favorite foods. Open up a recipe book. There are so many things that you can do in home for self care that does not get mean some you have eucalyptus. To go get some eucalyptus and 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 just let that that scent just. Oh, yeah. It'll just cow gone take you away, yeah. okay? That, that eucalyptus is awesome. Yeah, eucalyptus, it's so calming. Lavender, lavender yes. Mm -hmm. It's so calming and relaxing. I'm relaxed right now. They, <laughs> I, I got so much self care going on over here. They just <laughs> pouring lavender. They just yeah. pouring self care it's into just, me today. Yeah. And it's amazing. Right. And here's the, and if you And it's not have... restricted to women. Y'all heard That's to right. say That's men. Right. Don't men. don't run into the Fellas. next question. Slow down. Fellas, y'all can do it too. I know. You about to run into it. It's a question on this this list. Question y'all already hit, so I was trying to shut y'all down, but y'all kept going anyway. Well, so know, I, said, okay. I guess that's the M &M I said, thing. Okay. That's the M, &M <laughs> thing. No, but it's no. Um, what, what you both are saying are really it's really really important, mm -hmm. and it's really really vital for us 
understanding how valuable we are. And you said, own it. When you understand how valuable you are, when you understand that you're great and greatness is inside of you, then you, I believe, then you will own it. And then you start excluding those toxic relationships or those toxic conversations. Yeah. Yeah. And you say, you know what? Today, today, Monday is not a day <laughs> I'm going to deal with anything toxic. Absolutely. Count backwards. You know. There we go. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and I think, and I right think you have to be aware Ten, and alert nine. to <laughs> not repeat the same arena that you were in six months ago mm -hmm. once you go through this process of self-care mm -hmm. you got to also be aware i think that's why i made that statement mm -hmm. you got to make sure that you don't fall back into it right. because there's some things there's some triggers right. that will cause us to fall back in not taking uh -oh. care of ourselves uh -oh. and so when we allow these triggers to take place whether it's a uh, 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 old boyfriend an old girlfriend mm -hmm. a past relationship that you ain't talked to and, and, and god help you to get out of that and now you're really are taking care of yourself when that phone ring or you get that number and and because maybe you miss that person as a person yeah. mm -hmm. but not all the behavioral attributes that they have and we got to be careful and the reason why i'm making this point we have to guard the self-care um development or that leveling up because sometimes we can fall back into that place where we have to regroup all over again and i've learned this let me just give you a quick illustration if you're in the gym working out if you're working out with ways in the gym and you take three months off and you don't do none of that and you say i'm going back to the gym let me tell you something it's going to be a lot more difficult to reach back to that level your body gonna say you're not killing me on the first day that's right. you've been off for three months that's and, right. and that's how we have to look at it yeah, and all i'm try saying to go back and do what you did when you left off at right three months. you gotta you gotta start off slow so, and all I'm saying is that the reason why I made that is just to guard that self-care leveling up to where you had that place of tremendous peace mm -hmm. and taking care of yourself. So you got to guard it. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying disown people or don't talk to them, but you got to cause a minimum amount of conversation. That's when right. that conversation begins to shift mm -hmm. to being unhealthy, you know what? Thank you for calling. Have a great day. Yeah, absolutely. You have to set yourself up. Um, when I went on a 30 day fast um, from Instagram and Facebook, I said, I said, a, um, I think I had five or six things that I would do when I got the urge. Mm -hmm. So as you're talking about like going backwards and things, no, you have to, it, it's all intentional. Absolutely. So you have to be intentional, just like that property at work. It yes. might be, you know, might indicate if that formula at work indicates mm -hmm. a paycheck or a promotion. Think of yourself as that promotion. Think Absolutely. of your body as that paycheck. That's good. Like, That's good. We That's are good, valuing yeah. ourselves. Mm. Should be more than what the job. Yeah. You know. Ooh. So what Absolutely. you have to do, just like you, it's not about having a plan B or C or D. It's like when I am feeling this, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to call my dad. I'm going to call my girlfriend. That's why you have your accountability partners. Let a couple people know, maybe one or two know, that you are doing this fast so that they can help you. Again, this is not something that you need to know how to do. Self-care is one of those essential elements that can be built into your life. Yes. You don't know how to do it. And sometimes we forget. And sometimes life becomes so big and so overwhelming that we lose ourselves within Absolutely. it. So set yourself up. Have that plan. You know, you wouldn't go hiking. You wouldn't go on a two-day hike mm -hmm. without food and hydration mm -hmm. and a backpack. You mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. but then you're looking for other resources. Well, then what happens if the well is, is dry? Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like have your toolkit. Absolutely. Have your toolkit for mm -hmm. self-care. You know mm -hmm. what? If I step out of this or if I get off track, if I get off my square, mm -hmm. what's going to bring me back? Yes, yes. You know, that's you're going yes. to have really, something that's, that's going to bring you back yes. and that's commit excellent. to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Next question. All right. So in your opinion, <laughs> yes. do women embrace self-care more readily than men do? Absolutely. <laughs> Tell us why. So here's here's what I think. I'm saying absolutely. Um, I think we embrace it because the things are accessible. Advertisements, mm -hmm. grocery store, consumer. We're the biggest consumers. Women are, women are consumers. So... The amount of advertisements to take care of yourself is there, and it's running 100 times. Absolutely. I mean, so Absolutely. the opportunity mm -hmm. to take advantage and action self-care is more, I feel, than men. Mm -hmm. 
but or it's more in women's it's face more than in men. women's face right. than mm-hmm. men i'll mm-hmm. say that and so mm-hmm. i so that makes me think that women do it more mm-hmm. and they and they and they just do mm-hmm. um i think for men self-care um is I, I feel like men are growing into it mm-hmm. um, and not looking at it as being a feminine thing, like hashtag. And I have to talk about like hashtag self-care. Like guys are like, oh, that might be for females to do. But no, men are growing into like, I need to take care of myself too. Absolutely. But workshops are geared to women. I mean, retreats for the women. So the access to self-care is more prevalent to women. And that's why Absolutely. I think more women do it. Yeah, that's For powerful. men... I will say I, I do feel that men are doing it, but I don't think they do it as much. I just I don't I don't think no. because I think now, they're working hard and they are they're getting to their goal, mm-hmm. and so self care I think is minimal. Yeah. I think they, they make sure it, they have their they cologne, put it on the back they make sure the beard oil is yeah. on, they make mm-hmm. sure they have their cuts. Mm-hmm. But when it goes when you're talking about mental and, and emotional, yeah. I don't think that part I don't think that self care is right. happening. I think right. physically right. they're there, yeah. but mental and spiritual and um and Mental, spiritual, and emotional, mm-hmm. I think that part of self-care they don't grab. And, and you know what? It's funny that you say that. It's the reason why I broke down that question. Because mm. I'm, al- I'm always strategic. Oh, I'm a strategic <laughs> dad, radio host. Well, let me mm. bust him out real quick. I, listen, it took me forever to get him to do a couple's pedicure, manicure. Uh-huh. He he thought it was for women. Yeah. I said, let, honey, come let on, me, okay. come on. <laughs> You got Finally, me. Yeah, she I'm, got I'm me. Busting him out. She took me Bust to the out. river and Finally dropped me in. I'm glad go. I can swim. Finally got him to go. And I'm telling you right now, he said, Oh, babe, we might have to do this once a month mm-hmm. or once a quarter or something. Mm-hmm. You know, I said, yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. he but, loved it. Yeah. But you know, I, and he felt so invigorated. Yes. You know, now he would let me do it at home. Mm-hmm. You know, he right. would let me give him a pedicure at home, yeah. but I wanted him to to have the spa experience. Yes. You know, because yes. when you sitting in the chair and that chair vibrating and it's, you know the, the, the massage, the, yes, and massaging everything. your back. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm already getting my self care package together right now. Y'all keep talking. I'm getting it. my self care package together right now, and they're gonna pay for it. Right there. Okay. They're going to pay All for right. it. We'll do I'm that. You got to be there. careful messing with me now. You got to be careful <laughs> messing with Dr. D. We can do but, that. But the reason why I wanted to kind of, I, I gave this question because mm-hmm. that has been my concern, mm-hmm. within, especially men within the African-American community, mm-hmm. because we, we, we get this, we, we allow labels mm-hmm. sometimes to determine where we need to go internally. Yep. And we're not, let me say this to you guys, we're not vulnerable enough to see what women are doing, to not only be better, but to live longer. Because when you look at the statistics, women live longer than us. And I'm not saying something that's out of line. I'm saying something no, that's, that's reality. That's true. Because they're, they're, we're, in most men, mm-hmm. the first thing we say, I'm not wired that way. Mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. we're wired differently than women. Mm-hmm. Our psyches are different. Everything else about us is different. Mm-hmm. But what I like and I've always been an advocate, maybe because I was raised by my mom, mm-hmm. is to be an advocate and to learn what women are doing to advance their inner peace, yeah. to advance their mentality, to advance the things that allow them to be stronger and to be able to cope. And so the, the last thing I'll say, I'm going to have a long conversation with my daughter. She don't realize because I'm about to step into this thing by faith as an advocate, as a man for self-care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because what I realize is that it's too many of us, let me say this honestly, too many of us as men of brothers. color. <laughs> yeah, brothers. Um, too many of us are having heart attacks. Yeah. Too many of us are working long hours. Too many of us are stressed out about things we should not be stressed out. And we don't have any solid coping mechanisms. We go from one stress place to another stress place. We go from one peak to another peak That's without right. any release yeah. or mm-hmm. any ability having ability to, to relax and listen i understand you have goals you're driven you're passion driven mm-hmm. you're purpose driven but guess what you will never get to your destiny if you don't take self-care and back up and i understand you know you you got a lot of stuff you want to be you're the priest the prophet and the king of the home i get that continue to have that mm-hmm. mindset mm-hmm. But don't have that. But don't let that mindset strip you of your capacity mm-hmm. to be healthy on the inside, to yes. be healthy in your mind space, and and then to be vulnerable. Because because the collaboration 
Men, husbands, listen to your wives about taking care of yourself. That's one of the things I think that has really helped me with my wife. I've listened to some of the things because she's really concerned about my health. And I mean, she has caused me to shift a lot of things because I listen to her and I watch and I read and I, you know, I said, wow, you know, and I'm grateful in a, in a month or so, you know, I'll be 60 years old. I'm not ashamed of my age because where I came from, I know. You're wearing it well. <laughs> I, you know, where I came from, and I say this because I'm concerned about us brothers. Yeah. Because I read the newspaper, I listen to the, the mental illnesses, I listen to the suicide, and there's a good portion of us committing suicide for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. And I and I, listen, I'm not I'm not a mental illness specialist. I understand that I, I understand the, the portion of it because I am trained in areas to deal with that. But I want to say this to you. We have to start taking accountability mm -hmm. of us dying young. In the African American community, and I'm not blaming people because I know there's a lot of different variables that cause us. But when you take ownership, so you know what? I'm gonna do self care. I'm gonna have some peace. I'm not gonna be so revved up. My wife say this all the time: if it's not like threatening me, threatening, don't allow it to change who you are and get help. Be humble enough. Last thing I'll say: be humble enough to eat better. To take time out from your phone, your job, from all, and some of you, let me. I know I gotta stop, but some of you guys have not taken vacation, have not taken leave. You got more leave <laughs> on the books. That's what it's for. Leave. <laughs> you, it's for you to leave and to take and listen. Go on vacation. Yes. Even and if don't it's to take, the beach. Don't take your cell phone. Yeah. Don't take your computer. Yeah. You know, leave it at home. One person. If you got kids. Let the, let the mother take the phone and really take care of ourselves. Because, yeah. listen, we deserve to live 120 years. So let me ask you, let me ask both of you this. Yeah. So do you think that men, for, for men, do you think that sports is kind of their, their self-care to a, them? I'm saying to them. I, I would say that, it, I mean, I'm speaking for men, but I, I, would, I would say that self-care Part of self-care would be sports, mm -hmm. one, because they love to do it. Mm -hmm. Remember I said earlier mm -hmm. what self-care is. Self-care is something mm -hmm. that you love to do. Yes. It's an outlet. Mm -hmm. It relieves stress. And mm -hmm. we all know the adrenaline, the serotonin levels. Like Absolutely. All that stuff is revved up. Absolutely. And it's released. Yes. So you might have been stressed. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people, oh, I'm going to go play ball or... I'm gonna go lift weights, and, I'm, and mm -hmm. they go and they come out refreshed here, mm -hmm. Absolutely. and they just had to exert it. They had to exert it physically yes. in order to clear up. I mean, yes. some people run, and, and, and I think yes. I think and I feel yes. better afterwards. You no, know, I, so, as yeah. a man, I well, think some watch I mean, sports. You, you know, they, and some they, they may sports. not do it; and they watch but, it. You right. know, but, but I think as I think as a man, I think as a man, you have to be balanced enough mm -hmm. to know what sports to watch. And well, I, I think it's okay of, with sport. I think it's okay if you no, want to about However, participating. I don't think that should be their only method of self care. No, what I'm you saying. You know what I mean? Like, it's right. okay to pack a picnic basket and, and go to the park and, and no, chill out yeah, and watch sports. No, babe. Go I think for a man, we have a different psyche about sports. Absolutely. So, especially if you're a former athlete. See, here's the thing about you got to be careful when, I, when I'm trying or okay. threading on this yep. because we as men. If we play competitive sports, mm -hmm. we may not be playing anymore, but the competitiveness is still in us. Absolutely. Hyping our blood Absolutely. pressure up. Absolutely. You know, if we're watching our favorite <laughs> team and they're playing like garbage, <laughs> if I could be, I could be on we're going to get excited. Yeah, we're going to be on the field. You know, so it's, it's really, so you got to be, you got to draw the, the balance. Like Tiffany said earlier, you got to know what will push your button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying running and doing sports are not good, but I had to learn this. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to release the Washington Redskins to being on the field. Because, I mean, sometimes I'll be yelling at the TV. Right I'm upset. No, I'm not. I'm up. I'm disappointed. All right. All I'm right. disappointed. Okay, but let's, okay. But we're we going to curve your point. Now, at what age should we begin yeah, teaching, we children, minutes, so we teaching children yes. about self-care? Um, as soon as possible. As soon as, <laughs> as, possible. Soon, as, soon as possible. Um, I'm a mother of a two-year-old. And um, I would say, I mean, not even verbally, but like as far as um, practical things, cleaning mm -hmm. up, 
not having a lot of clutter, mm -hmm. taking it, wash your face. You mm -hmm. want to make sure your face is clean. Mm -hmm. You want to clean up. Mm -hmm. Having time for yourself. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, she does have time when she's playing. I'm like, oh, she's been playing by herself for 15 minutes. She's enjoying it. That's away from me, mm -hmm. away from her other parent, away from siblings. other siblings. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, mm -hmm. she's just in her own space. And so I would say that's a part of mm -hmm. that self-care. That's like a practice. That's one of the practical Absolutely. areas. Um, but definitely, I mean, I would be talking about it. And main the main point is you, mm -hmm. you having self care. You mm -hmm. you're practicing self care, so they're learning it mm -hmm. from birth all the way up. And you're letting mm -hmm. them know mm -hmm. this is mom's time, this is dad's time, this is grandma's time, this is auntie's time. Who's ever taken care of? You know, you're letting them know like this is what I'm doing and why I'm doing this activity yes. is for self care. So it's just about communication. So I would say as early as two, as far as understanding and getting them to do activities, I would say age five awesome. for them to really start to do activities. That's amazing. Next question. Mm -hmm. Next question. As a believer in God, does it make it easier to accept the self-care concept or principle? Does it make it easier? Because you're, I think, and when I, that, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. Mm -hmm. As a child of God, and you know the principles of God's word, has that given you an easier journey to accepting self-care because he loves you and he tells us basically to love ourselves. Yeah, you know it's funny. Um so so my answer would be no, I don't think it makes it easier. Um what I do feel that helps it um okay. with with understanding your relationship with God and understanding like the temperature. I always think about the scripture like your body is a temple. And I always have to like remember that. Remember your body is a temple. Your body is a temple. So treat your temple with respect. Um, I guess it it would be easy in that respect where you understand the scripture. But when life is happening and going on, mm -hmm. it, I mean, it takes a lot of faith. Um, it takes, I you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying no because I, I feel like I've been in the dark and had a relationship with God and I've been on the dark side and I felt right. like I didn't want to pick myself up and I felt like I wasn't like my worth and my value wasn't there and so and even with yeah. knowing him so yeah. I, but because I'm standing here today and I'm not I you know I would say that the, that having faith in God and a relationship with God is valuable to your self-care because it does give you a a platform or a foundation. Yeah, um, I got but you. it's really it's it's still really like the choice. Mm -hmm. like yeah, and, and, the choice. but there are principles because in the Bible that speaks about our health. That speaks about getting sunlight. That speaks about getting exercise. That's, you know what I mean? So there's there, a lot. Yeah, and, there, but there's, it's, and there's yeah. a lot of people. And people don't know it's in there, but but it's in <laughs> but there. But it's a lot of people that's not practicing. It's a lot. It's exactly. A lot, it's, a so, lot of, it's a lot of believers of right. God that don't who, practice it. Are unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. In a and, lot of ways. Yes. In a lot of ways. Yes. Yes. Even in the pulpit. Yeah, yes. that wasn't. You know what I mean? Yes. So yeah. it's no, like, no, I, I the get word it. is there, mm -hmm. but it's still an individual, like, I'm accepting, and this is, like, it's like your roadmap. Now, mm -hmm. if you now if you say, okay, the Bible is part of my roadmap for mm -hmm. my self-care, it's mm -hmm. my confidence infuser, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. all day, I think that. Yes. And I and I think if I, it's something yeah. where you struggle with like it says this, mm -hmm. but this I'm, person's doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah, and mm -hmm. I think so, I think that question was there. It's a great question. And you, I love and that. You, and you, yeah. you answered it really beautifully because mm -hmm. I don't want people to think that having God in your life excludes you from having dark times. Right. That's right. I don't want does people not. to ever think it that. Does not. Because we still have a human that's right. psyche, there we go. a human Absolutely. body mm -hmm. that we maybe we haven't grown, but let me say this. Even and we if you have an enemy. <laughs> yeah. But I'm even if you're not in God, let me say this to you. Even if you're not in God, mm -hmm. self-care principles can help you. Absolutely. To, Absolutely. to soar Absolutely. and Absolutely. help you to understand how valuable you are. Because I think you got to understand who you are first. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of times people do things and they don't understand who they are. They understand what other people are doing, mm -hmm. but they haven't taken mm -hmm. the time to, to get themselves better or right. to understand who am I? That's mm -hmm. right. Outside of your mom, your dad, your sister and brother, mm -hmm. who am I? So we got five minutes. So what we want to do. Can you speak to our audience to encourage them um, that they deserve to take an active role in in 
achieving self-care. Beautiful. Yes, I can. And I'll give you some tips. So hopefully you have your pen out. If not, you can press rewind and record it. So I would say, um, so self-care um, is six areas of self-care that you can focus on. So you don't have to just focus on one thing on one day. There's emotional, physical, spiritual, mental, practical, and social. Those are the six areas of self-care that you can work on throughout the whole 365 days of the year. Um, and I'll ha I can list the activities. I'll list them in the comments of the show. Um, the other thing I would say is schedule three special dates. Make sure that you're having a date just with yourself, the me, myself, and I moment. The second, schedule a date with you and your partner. That's where you're building each other up. That's where you're cultivating the relationship and you're figuring out the plan for the family. The next one is kind of hard, but make a date with each child in your household, and that's for you and your partner. Each, you, each, each adult needs to have a date with each of the children or a time of day, an that's, hour. That's, man, yeah. that's awesome. Because what that does is that gives, yes. everyone a spe it gives everyone a special time, and it, and it helps you as the two adults to come together and say, okay, what do we need? How can we pay attention more? What what's going on in the household? What's what's the um the level? What's the energy level? You know, because everyone is going through different stages in the blended family. Some Very people might so. be upset that the blended family has happened. Some yes. people might want the other the biological parents to get back together. Some people might not have accepted their siblings. Mm -hmm. You know, all those things, mm -hmm. and it's tough if everybody's together all the time mm -hmm. to really find that out. Mm -hmm. So if you carve out that special time with them, and you understand like that that's that's self care. You're taking time with them and they're understanding how, like, okay, you care about me. So you're letting me express myself mm -hmm. as well as you being able to then come back to that drawing board, mm -hmm. figure out that appointment book on your side again, mm -hmm. and figure out how the family is going to move mm -hmm. in more um, cohesive way, mm -hmm. um, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, like, and practically and socially, like, really getting them all together and build, and build from there. Mm -hmm. And you know what, real quick. Mm -hmm. That is so poignant and so powerful because what we don't realize is that you're dealing with individuals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we talk about family <laughs> and we forget that those are individuals that you're dealing with and they have different personalities, mm -hmm. they have likes, different likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. And so Tiffany, when you talked about that, mm -hmm. spe spending that special time with each child individually mm -hmm. and also what it does, it allows that child to feel very special yes. for that time. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And it helps as them they, connect. And as yes. they yes. relate to the adults. Each child is connecting with each adult. They go. get they're formulating yes. their own personal relationship. And so once everybody comes together, because you know we love our love shop. We yeah. love our love. Once everybody comes together, <laughs> yeah, you know, down. and they're playing that games and you know, and, and they're having conversa so open conversations, yeah. you know, it just makes them it That's just right. makes it so much better and it makes it fortify even more makes a blended family right. blend even more we and, love it we and love yeah it. no it's it's, so tip, it's been amazing tell tip, everybody how, how they, they can, can reach out to you with yes, because listen please. she does conferences <laughs> seminars more radio she, yeah, you know what i mean she will come and she will help you out tell them how to get yes. contact with so, you so Facebook, True Peace Wellness, T R U P A C E Wellness. On Instagram, it's True Peace dot Wellness. And then my email is True Peace dot Wellness at Gmail dot com. So T R U P E A C E Wellness. Listen, hit, right. hit her up. Let me tell <laughs> you something. Thank you so much oh, for coming on yeah, this show. We, this has been amazing. It's our girl right here. It's our girl. <laughs> I am, um, I am, I am. <laughs> You know, as a, as a dad, you get you get proud moments. Yes. And today, as a dad, this is one of my proud yes. moments yes. to see how you have <laughs> just begin to evolve the and flourish. The woman that you, man, I'm you know, telling you. And, and to awesome. flourish with the spirit to help people get better. Yes. Nothing yes. is more powerful than people having a desire mm -hmm. and being deliberate mm -hmm. To help others get better. Yes. If we if we could get a million people to take this spirit right. to help each other and help everyone get better, I believe the mental, yes. the spiritual, the mm -hmm. physical, mm -hmm. and the practical sicknesses will be devoided yeah. right away. Absolutely. So again, mm -hmm. I'm Doc D. <laughs> I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. Let's close in prayer real quick. We got a minute. 
Father, we thank you for you shining on this straight talk thank about you, the Lord. blended family episode, yes. this segment, rather, God. We thank you for our daughter Tiffany being a part of us today, yes, sharing and hanging out with us. God, we pray that you continue to bless her yes. and she continue to talk about self-care and yes. all the amazing things that you have been doing. Continue to bless us mm -hmm. as we go forward to seeing everyone get better. In the precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Thank today you for was... tuning in, everybody. We yes. appreciate it. Thank you so Have much. Have a watch party this Show evening. Show this thing again. <laughs> Share it with Share everybody. With your friends and your family and your neighbors and your coworkers. Your church. You know, let them be <laughs> blessed and get these principles as well. Because we know when the family is in tune and, and, and all right, we know that society falls in place, okay? Amen. So, again, I thank you again for tuning in. We know that you got some great stuff. Um, we'll be back next week. Um, tune in for next week, next Wednesday, same time, 1.30 to 2.30. We got some special stuff coming next week, but I know you are blessed today. Again, love on yourself. Yes. Love on yourself. Yes. Thank you again. God bless. <laughs> so, yeah, Tiff, I know. Well, it's that time, time to end the show, but we've had an absolute blast. Please come back and check us out on next Wednesday from 1.30 to 2.30 to where we will share some more insights on how the blended family can rise. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Peace be upon you.